Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionados, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our comparisons playlist. Today we'll compare between tuberculoid leprosy versus lepromatous leprosy. Tuberculoid, oid means like, similar to. And tubercle is the granuloma of tuberculosis because tuberculoid leprosy has granuloma in duration. But lepromatous leprosy does not. So the question is, why does tuberculoid leprosy have granuloma but not lepromatous leprosy? For a very similar reason. If you have tuberculoid leprosy, it's probably because your cellular immunity, i.e. the T lymphocyte immunity, is very strong, capable of making a granuloma. But if you have a lepromatous leprosy, your cell immunity is weak. That's why you could not make a granuloma. This is my comparisons playlist. A good doctor is he who understands distinctions. So, tuberculoid leprosy versus lepromatous leprosy. Tuberculoid leprosy. Few bacteria, but strong T lymphocyte immunity. Since it's few bacteria, less infectious. Versus lepromatous leprosy, many bacteria, more infectious. If a disease has few bacteria, and the bacterium is Mycobacterium leprae, therefore, we can call this Posse bacillary Hansen disease. Posse means few, bacillary, because these are bacilli, Hansen disease is leprosy. Leprosy has been known for thousands of years, but it was Hansen who discovered the causative organism. But lepromatous leprosy has many bacteria, therefore multibacillary Hansen disease. In tuberculoid leprosy, my T cell immunity is strong, activating macrophages, they become epithelioid cells and they make a granuloma just like the tubercle, the granuloma of tuberculosis, hence tuberculoid leprosy. But in lepromatous leprosy, your immunity is weak. You cannot make a granuloma because you could not activate your epithelioid cells. Therefore, which one do you think is diagnosed by a skin test? The answer is tuberculoid leprosy. You're looking for the induration, i.e. the granuloma, i.e. the type 4 hypersensitivity reaction, caused by T lymphocytes. But how can we diagnose lepromatous leprosy? Skin test, you cannot do it because you cannot make a granuloma. How can I diagnose it then? Since it has many bacteria, just look under the microscope while using the acid fast stain. Now let's dig deeper. Tuberculoid leprosy versus lepromatous leprosy. Lepromatous leprosy. Sounds redundant. Just like Heterophis heterophis, Loa loa, and Trichorius trichoria. Goodness, who named these things? Tuberculoid leprosy, few bacteria, therefore posse bacillary. But lepromatous is multi -pacillary. If tuberculoid has few bacteria, therefore it's less infectious. The infectivity is low. But with lepromatous leprosy, I am more likely to transmit it to someone else. The infectivity is high because we have numerous bacteria. Tuberculoid leprosy, few bacteria but strong immunity. Lepromatous, many bacteria but weak immunity. If my T cell immunity is strong, I can activate the macrophages, the epithelioid histiocytes, and I can make a granuloma, and therefore you can diagnose it by the lepromin skin test, which is analogous to the tuberculin skin test of tuberculosis. But in lepromatous leprosy, I could not activate the epithelioid cells, I could not make a granuloma, therefore I cannot use a skin test. How can you diagnose it then? Many bacteria look under the microscope using an acid fast stain. It's an acid fast bacillus known as Mycobacterium leprae. Now let's talk about the disease leprosy, tuberculoid leprosy, few erythematous or hypopigmented plaques, red or pale skin lesions, versus lepromatous leprosy, many, not few, many, many bacteria, many skin lesions. They could be plaques or macules. Tuberculoid leprosy will damage your peripheral nerves, causing complete sensory loss. But with lepromatous leprosy, it is patchy sensory loss. That's a big difference. Moreover, since tuberculoid has gazillion activated macrophages and granulomas, your nerves will be enlarged to the naked eye. However, with lepromatous leprosies, I cannot see that your nerves are enlarged using my eye. Tuberculoid, you activated your macrophages, they become epithelioid cells. And don't forget, you have strong T cell immunity. 
T lymphocytes are predominant. But in lepromatous leprosy, it's not the granuloma, it's not the histiocytes of the granuloma, just phobia macrophages. Reaction to lepromin skin test, reactive with tuberculoid, non-reactive with lepromatous. The levels of immunoglobulins, normal with tuberculoid, because T lymphocytes do not care about antibodies, that's the job of the B lymphocytes. Erythema nodosum is absent with tuberculoid leprosy, may be present with lepromatous leprosy. That's another difference. How can I confirm the diagnosis? First of all, my Quebecerium leprae is unculturable on artificial medium. Culture is not going to work. So, to diagnose tuberculoid leprosy, you need the clinical picture and uh, the lepromin skin test to look for the induration, the granuloma. But since there is no granuloma with lepromatous leprosy, we can take advantage of the fact that there are many bacteria and look under the microscope. Which one do you think is more severe? Oh, of course, the one that has many bacteria, yet weaker immunity. Thank you. Therefore, it needs a combo. It needs an extra medication called clofazamine. So to treat tuberculoid leprosy, rifampin and dapsone together with lepromatous leprosy, rifampin and dapsone and clofazamine. Now let's review Mycobacterium leprae from Picmonic. Picmonic is a doozy website with more than a thousand pictured medical mnemonic. Pictured mnemonic. Picmonic. Mycobacterium leprae. Myco, here's the mic. Leprae, here's the leopard. Is an aerobic bacteria playing aerobics. Acid fast. Here's the lemon running fast with the classic acid fast stain. The bacillus will appear pink on a blue background. Do not be confused and say, oh, it's a pink bacillus, therefore gram negative. Shut up. Mycobacterium leprae is gram positive, at least anatomically. In the lab, it does not stain well with gram. That's why we need the acid fast stain. Mycobacterium leprae likes cool temperatures. Two types of leprosy, the tuberculoid leprosy with the granuloma, granny lama, and lepromatous leprosy with no granuloma. How can we treat tuberculoid leprosy? You'll need rifampin, the referee, Dapsone, diaper sun. But if you want to treat lepromatous leprosy, you will need rifampin plus dapsone plus clofazamine, the clover faz. If you want to learn more about antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications, download my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.